Now to the crisis at the border and some blunt words from President Biden last night with just hours to go before Trump era border restrictions are lifted. ABC's Andrew Dimbert takes a look. This morning, hundreds of U.S. troops have arrived at the southern border, the first of 1,500 being sent by the Biden administration to help cope with the massive surge of migrants expected in the coming days. Migrants like this man who wiped away tears after finally reaching El Paso. Is your crime because you're happy? Tomorrow, COVID-era border restrictions known as Title 42 expire. President Biden last night was blunt, saying the problems at the border are about to get worse. It's going to be chaotic for a while. Border officials predict up to 10,000 people will try to cross the border each day, far more than the 3,500 they can comfortably handle. This video shows migrants trying to enter Mexico from Guatemala for the journey north. One congressman says at least 80,000, mostly Venezuelan nationals, are headed to the U.S. Places as far north as Chicago and New York have declared emergencies. Well, it is a crisis situation. There's going to be literally thousands of more individuals coming across the border and ultimately find their way up to the state of New York. Back in El Paso, ICE agents are telling migrants living on the streets to pack up and get processed or face deportation. The enforcement operation was announced by Homeland Security in a press release. The Border Patrol Union slamming that move, saying nothing like publicly announcing that dangerous people will be arrested while warning them ahead of time exactly where to run and hide to avoid arrest. This entire operation is a sad joke. While many focus on the impact the surge will have on federal resources, others are sympathetic to those looking for a better life. This gas station owner in Brownsville, Texas, is giving migrants a chance to earn money washing cars. It's really sad. I mean, it's, they leave their family behind, they have no money, they're hungry, and they're asking for a job just to get something just to eat. To deal with the surge, the White House has promised stricter asylum rules and new processing centers in Latin America, but Arizona's governor, a Democrat, called the administration's response inadequate. She wants more funding for border towns. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.